Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is November 16th, 2021. This is episode 444, I believe. And there you go. One day super hot, next day it cools. The onshore winds come, they go over the hot, or I said warmed ground and warmed ocean. And boom, instant fog. We are in a real big fog here. Just like DC and Marvel. They are also in a fog. Yeah. What are they going to do next? Well, I'll tell you. I don't think they have a clue. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, they totally dropped the ball. They had billion-dollar franchises going on. Both of them. You know, you look at uh, Wonder Woman and uh, um, Aquaman with uh, DC and then all the rest with Marvel. It was just one hit after another. Big box, even Ant-Man scored big. And that was kind of a C character, C-list character. It wasn't even a, a major character, maybe even a D-list character. No one cared about Ant-Man. And suddenly that was a billion dollar movie. So, what do they do next? You know, they're still making plenty of money off some of these movies. But not like what we saw before, and everybody was hungering for them. They don't have the repeat business that they were getting with some of those, where people would go again and again and again. Now it's a one and done. They're not buying the DVDs for their collection. Uh, DVDs may be out of style now, but still, the pe people that collect, collect. And we're not seeing that at all. So what do they do next? You know, they're trying to revive the comic line using younger writers and artists that have uh, honed their skills digitally but perhaps not mastered the skills in the artistic sense that the other others that came before them using all different kinds of media now it's a quick one and done type thing with their art as well just it's just Un it's forgettable art. It's not unforgettable. It's un it's for totally forgettable art. The writers that they're coming out, they all have the social experience of a star a cup wrapped a mug wrapped in styrofoam. They've never really known um, true uh, hard life experiences. They really they really don't, and it shows. I mean. If everything is a microaggression is so horrible to them, wow. <laughs> they don't know. They haven't lived through much. Well, I guess you could say the current uh, POTUS who's in charge, he's, he's making life a lot harder for a lot of us out here. Uh, inflation's way up. Gas prices are way up. Uh, wages are falling only to be propped up by inflated prices otherwhere, otherwise, because nobody wants to work. He's giving people free money, but it's not that much. And there's a great resignation going on. Four million people a month over the last couple months have resigned their jobs. So there's a surplus of employment opportunities out there. No one's doing anything about it. But in the comic book industry, rates have been low, low, low for ever. So what you get is you get this, this group coming in that say they love comics. Well, they really love the movies, and that's been stated by other reviewers and other analysts and other critics before. They're not really into the comics. They don't understand the characters. They like the costumes. And that's about it, you know. Nothing else going on. Look how foggy it is today. It's really foggy. Maybe a quarter mile visibility. Maybe half mile, not too much. Um, there's those 60 foot palms I talked about earlier. So what are they gonna do? What do they do? One thing they can do to earn money is cut staff. That's a quick fix. They could hire people for less money. They've done that already and we see the results. It's, uh, boy, I'm not reading anything by DC right now. I, I don't like anything. In Marvel, it's just a couple titles of that. And those are by established writers with true life experiences. They've gone places. They've done things. They've experienced hard times. Not uh, someone made a microaggression against them. 
like true hard times. Um, they've grown up in more difficult times than this. I mean, when you have homeless people with cell phones, they're not, not exactly hurting. To be a, a homeless person in the U.S. is not the same as being a being a poor person in any third world country. It's a much better life. A lot of people taking care of you, reaching out if you, if you want it. Um, if you don't, then you know that's your own choice. I know there's a lot of mentally ill people out there, but um, there's a lot of mentally ill people in the comic industry as well right now. So what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, everybody getting attacked for saying one thing or another, or it's being misconstrued, or they talk to someone that they don't like and all these things come together and it does not make things it doesn't patch up feelings it doesn't patch up build bridges it doesn't do any of those things and the result is we've got comics that are just freaking boring we've got comics that are just uninteresting they're throwaways you don't want to keep them i mean why keep them you're never gonna go back and read them again um and that's that's a shame there's nothing that's going to inspire you. There's not a single comic out there written by these new writers that inspires anybody. If anything, they're full of hate. They've got the values all screwed up. You know, it's better to be a criminal than just a law-abiding citizen. Um, it's better to wreck somebody's business than build up your community or your city. I don't like to use the word community because that's, you know, it's, it's a term that's used as a, a, a bludgeon now. <laughs> so, just a thought, just the fogginess of the industry right now. Um, there is some hope. I guess some people have come in and said, that are higher up and said, what the hell's going on? You guys are making, you know, a billion on, on the movie and then... A billion on the franchise, franchised toys and shirts and other merch. Now you're making like a, a t so much less than that. Um, you still may be making money, but profits aren't there. And plus, with inflation, I think it's been like 14% this year. I wouldn't listen to Biden. All you have to do is go to a restaurant and look at the menu and see that the everything's a dollar or two more. And that's more than 6%. I guarantee it. So, that being said, I encourage everybody to make their own stuff. Hone it. Hone your craft. Don't just do something, poop something out and put it out there. Really look at it. Put it away. Have someone critical, you know, look at it. Someone that's got a lot of, that you would admire. Um, give it to a friend. They're always going to say, oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, this is the best. But are they, would they buy it? That's the question. Would they read it? If not, it forced upon them. <laughs> I don't know. So, that being said, I am working on a novel right now. It's on Booksy. It's the... Boy, I can't remember the name of it now. I'm out of breath. Uh, it's Strangers... Alliance of Strangers. There you go. Raiders of Kal Nir. That's K A L L N E E R. If you look up that word, it'll bring it up for you if you're interested. I'm also working on a couple of comics with some other collaborations. Those have been going a little bit slower than I'd like. So that's why I dove into the novel and started working on that with an idea I had. Kind of a Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings type stuff. Um, so check it out if you wish. Just about five chapters so far posted. This is Indie Comics Jones. Do your own thing. Do what you want. It's your own thing. I'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. Please like, please subscribe, please leave comments. And as always, this is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.